Hi, Cyprus Speed Tours. Not a particularly nice day today, so a good chance to debate the merits of crank length. Now, it's a subject which is fiercely debated uh, amongst many different cyclists, all opting for different views. Um, the tendency does seem to be to go to shorter cranks these days, and I'm an advocate of that. And we can perhaps have a look and explode a few myths and see as to why that's a good idea. Now, these are 170mm cranks. Imagine if I put on 200mm cranks. Now, assuming there's two different bikes, same gear, same everything. Now, if I turn the crank one half a revolution like that, we're going to travel a certain distance. If I do the same thing with a 200mm crank, the same gear, everything else the same, it's going to go the same distance. The bike will travel the same, the same distance. The only thing that's changed is that your foot is scribing a larger arc. You're having to move your leg more. But because the crank arm is longer, you're exerting less force than you are with the smaller crank. So that leads to people thinking, ah, longer crank, I'm exerting less force. Brilliant. Somehow I'm saving loads of energy, I'm making loads more power, must be good. But no, it's just a simple question of gearing because all you have to do to make the shorter crank feel easier again is you just change up a gear. Um, it's not going to be necessarily exactly the same, but you get my idea. You change up a gear, the shorter crank becomes that little bit easier and you're back to the same, the same thing. There's, there's no, you have no advantage in having the longer crank. Now, if we look at these calculations here, uh, the mechanics prove all this. So basically, we know that torque is a function of the force times the radius of your crank. So the torque you're producing depends on how hard you're pushing the crank and the radius of the crank. So that gives us uh, the torque about the axle here. But what we're interested in is the torque we're getting at the chain, because that's what's driving the back wheel. So if you want the force in the chain, you have to take the torque in the, in the crank arm divided by the radius of your, um, of your chain ring. Now, that will then give you the force in the chain, which is going to give you a force here at your sprocket. Now, the torque in your sprocket is a function of the force in the chain and the radius of your sprocket. So, basically, um, the larger the sprocket, the more torque you get, the more force in the chain, the more torque you get. It all, all makes sense. And then we then have to get the force that you're getting actually at the tyre on the road. So that force is the torque at the sprocket divided by the radius of the wheel. And we can see from all, the, all those figures basically that um, the by changing the crank length, you're just simply changing the, the mechanics of the system. You're not really doing anything magical. And you can adjust any one of these variables here to get you back to the same, to, to match different crank lengths by just changing gears. So I think we've shown there's no mechanical advantage in having longer cranks. You can simply adjust that using the gears. So what is the, what are the, the advantages of having a shorter crank? Well, having a shorter crank means that your leg as it comes up here, is not going to be so compressed to your body, which means that you can get your torso lower and you can get yourself in a more aero position um, just by having shorter cranks. Another advantage is that when you're cornering, um, you have more ground clearance, so you have less chance of a, of a uh, strike on the ground, which obviously can knock you off, can be dangerous. And then the other advantage of shorter cranks is that if you are trying to achieve a high cadence, which is where uh, usually you can produce your, your maximum power is by pedaling fast, then a shorter crank allows you to do that much easier because there is, you're scribing a smaller arc with your foot and therefore um, it just becomes a lot easier to maintain that circle, the high speed spinning circles, if you're not having to do a great big massive circle which is putting a lot more strain on all of your joints. Now, despite everything 
I just said about the benefits of shorter cranks, obviously the size of crank that you use is going to depend on how tall you are and not just how tall you are but how long your legs are, how, what the size of your inseam. So a tall guy is going to be more comfortable on longer cranks than, than a short guy and, and vice versa. And it's really a function of, of personal taste um, and where you feel you can produce the most power um, with your legs because tall riders just may not feel comfortable on really short cranks. They perhaps feel that they can't get the, the maximum leverage from, from their actual legs. So in their case, they may feel more comfortable on longer cranks. But I would still say it's worth trying a shorter crank if you're 180, maybe try 175. If you're 175, try 170. See what difference it makes and um, experiment because you've got nothing to lose um, by, by trying.